Hello humans, this is Michael Herrick with HIPAA for Humans, realistic cybersecurity advice for healthcare. Cybersecurity liability insurance is a key part of your HIPAA risk management program. And so I want to share with you some of the trends that we're seeing in this space. The cybersecurity insurance industry is changing and evolving rapidly. One of the biggest changes that we're seeing as of right now, I'm recording this video in April of 2022, and one of the huge changes that we've been seeing this year is a dramatic rise in the premiums being charged. I'm thinking of one client whose cybersecurity insurance premium premiums went from around $12,000 a year to more than $20,000 per year. No incidents, uh, no insurance claims, no significant changes to their environment, but a spike in the insurance premiums for an insurance renewal uh, with an existing underwriter, their insurance premiums almost doubled this year. And we're seeing that across the board. We're seeing much higher right, rates for both new policies and even for renewal of policies. So cyber security insurance premiums really, really increasing this year. I, and I, I believe in response to, to the number of attacks and the number of claims that are being paid out. The insurance underwriters are realizing they've got to raise these rates to cover all of the incidents that are coming through. Another thing that we're seeing, particularly with new policies, is more and more uh, due diligence on the part of the underwriters and more and more very specific requirements about cybersecurity controls that are required before they will even consider issuing a policy to you. We're seeing a lot more underwriters now requiring organizations to have multi-factor authentication rolled out across the organization. Without multi-factor authentication, you may just not be considered for a policy, or I've seen this also, you can get a policy, but with extremely low sublimits on the social engineering risk. Multi-factor authentication being one of the best ways to protect yourself from social engineering, email, phishing, and so on. By the way, I've got a free webinar coming up later this month about social engineering and technology tools you can use to protect yourself. So look for that webinar later this month, how to automate your defenses against social engineering. I'm going to give you some tips that are going to be very helpful and are going to really prepare you for those cybersecurity questionnaires that the insurance companies are requiring. They're getting more and more specific about security controls that you've got to have in place before they will issue a policy. Making a proactive enterprise-wide HIPAA risk management program is a key part to a key part of your strategy for negotiating a good premium and getting good insurance coverage without paying through the nose. That's what we do here at Matterform. If we can help you with the legally mandated HIPAA risk assessment, please reach out. And we can also advise you on how you can use that risk assessment and use that HIPAA risk management program that you create to tell the story with your insurance underwriters, explain what you're doing to proactively manage these threats and negotiate a decent premium on your cybersecurity insurance. I'm Michael at Matterform. Join me here every Tuesday for more HIPAA for Humans.